Hey everyone, the objectives of this video are to explain the nature of open systems with respect to the conservation of mass, observe the energy balance for open systems, to determine an empirical relation for workflow, and finally, to relate these three principles to determine the first law of thermodynamics when applied to open systems. So what exactly is an open system? An open system is a section of particular interest wherein there is a free movement of mass and energy. So, to take this example here, we have a piston cylinder arrangement wherein the six section or the uh, system as we will now refer to it that we are interested in is this right here. Now, in the systems we have already analyzed, that is, closed systems, we find that energy can enter the system through work done on the piston, or work done by the piston, or by energy, or by heat rather, being transferred into the system, or by heat transferred out of the system. As for the mass flow of the system, a mass can enter the system here, and can exit the system right here. So now, let us empirically analyze the mass flow rate. We know that the change in mass of a system is just the difference between the mass entering the system and the mass exiting the system. If you write this as a rate with respect to time, we find that the change in mass with respect to time is just m in dot minus m out dot, where the m dot signifies the mass flow rate, which logically is measured in kilograms per second. To introduce another equation, the mass flow rate is given by the density times by the cross-sectional area times by the velocity of the substance's flow. So a simple dimensional analysis will confirm this because density is measured in kilograms per meter cubed, area is uh, measured in meter squared, and the velocity is measured in meters per second. Now we know that density is just the reciprocal of the specific volume. So therefore we can replace the equation before with m dot is equal to a v on v. Be careful as one v denotes the volume and the other denotes the velocity. An easy way to differentiate the two is to draw a vector arrow on top of the velocities. Now, in this course, we will only be dealing with steady state, steady flow situations. This means that when mass flows into the system at a steady rate, it will flow out of the system at that same rate. So therefore, the total mass flow rate into the system is going to equal to the total mass flow rate out of the system. So now moving on to the energy balance of open systems. Similar to the mass flow rate definition over here, we can define the energy flow rate as this. Just like in the mass flow rate case for steady state, steady flow, the energy in is going to equal to the energy out. So therefore the change in the energy flow of the system is going to equal to zero. The flow of energy in an open system are of three types. There is the flow of heat, which is given as Q dot, the flow of work, which is given as W dot, and finally, there is the energy that is contained by the mass flow, which will be the flow of energy of the mass in minus the flow of energy of the mass out. Now, if we are to combine the three to determine an equation for the change in flow rate of the energy, it will be the following. The change in Q dot minus the change in work dot Plus the change in plus the change in the mass flow rate energy. So now moving on to the flow work. When there is a flow of mass into the system, it is logical that there will be uh, to assume rather that this flow will act on the system in the in the form of work. So now from fundamental physics, we know that the work flow is going to equal to the force times by the distance that the force is acting. Therefore, if we get it with respect to time, we get the work flow dot is going to equal to F times by dr dt. 
Now that is just equal to f times by the v, and as we, and v is the fluid velocity which we found earlier. From fundamental physics again, we get that the force is the pressure multiplied by the cross-sectional area. So finally, we can get an equation which says that the work flow dot is going to equal to PAV. Recall that the mass flow rate is equal to AV on V, so therefore just substituting this equation into the previous one, we get that the work flow dot is going to equal to M dot times by the pressure times by the specific volume. So with respect to an open system, the change in work flow is just going to equal to m, p, m dot pv in minus m dot pv out. So therefore, the culmination of all this theory is to find the fi first law of thermodynamics for an open system. The change in energy flow rate of a system is going to equal to the change in q dot minus the change in work dot uh, plus the uh, e energy of the mass in minus the energy of the mass out and the flow of that. So now, work dot is easily split into the work done externally onto the system and the work done by the flow itself. So we just calculated this quantity here, so this can be replaced by this quantity over here. Now, what about the change of the energy dot of the mass flow rate of the system? So this quantity over here. From fundamental physics once again, we find that this is equal to the change in internal energy plus the change in the kinetic energy and finally uh, added on to the change in the potential energy. So if we uh, look at this thermodynamically, this will just be m dot u, this will be m dot v squared on 2 and this will be m dot g z where z is the change in the elevation of the uh, substance. We don't use h here for a reason that will become obvious later. So combining these equations into the big equation earlier we get this. A very long equation which shows that delta Q, uh, the change in q dot minus the change in the work system plus the m dot pv in minus the m dot pv out plus the m dot in u in plus v in squared on 2 plus gz in minus m dot out times by the u out plus the uh, v out squared on 2 plus gz out. Now if we recall h is going to equal to u plus pv. Now we have pv here and we have the u here and also this as we already found before is going to equal to zero. So we get this final equation which will look like this. Q dot minus work of the system dot is going to equal to the mass out dot times by h out plus v out squared on 2 plus g z out minus the m in, m dot in, times by the h in plus v in squared on 2 plus the g z in. Now we can remove the, uh, I already removed the uh, deltas before the q and the w just for, the simpl just for simplicity's sake. So this is the final takeaway equation from this very long de derivation. Whenever we have an open system which we want to analyze, we look at this equation and we try to use it. Cut study time with concise video summaries by top students. Visit SpoonFeedMe.com to view more free videos in this course and hundreds of others.